for him. Yeah. Looking to throw on first down. Short drop and gets it out in the flat. And the catch is made and already picking up about seven is Khalil Jackson. The third stack quarterback to make a quick decision and get the ball out. Picked up eight. Here's all in motion with the pop pass. And the playmaker made a cut but collided with media led by Teo Johnson. Picked up just a yard. It'll be third and one. Also in motion. Trevor Etienne is the back. They keep it. And Mertz, not known as a runner, turns the corner and picks up five on first down. Glad he got Go, down. Going to get some tendencies, both offenses yeah, early. Yeah, we just talked about the. Cool. Tampa five-star guy. Yeah, you're right. They've been waiting to see him make a huge impact. And second and one. Looking to throw. Mertz delivers on the field and on the run. And the catch is made. It's Marcus Burke. Big physical wide receiver, and he's down inside the 35. Little bit of confusion off the play action coming up, and then right here, the transfer from Stanford, DeMooney, who is in right now because of Reed's injury, he gets lost in coverage, opens it up right behind. We're expected to step up this year. Mertz backpedals and now finds Johnson out of the backfield. He's got ahead of steam, making cuts. Montrell Johnson lost the ball. Looks like the Gators fell on it. It was Mazuka. This is not the right the Mertz we're used to seeing. Different style. Has protection, delivers a short pass. And the catch is made by Caleb Douglas. He's going to be knocked down right there. So the sack going to stall the drive. And here comes the field goal. Again, team. Florida's not into moral victory. Tackle. And again, he's the defensive quarterback, the guy who makes the signal calls for this unit. Mertz. Throwing downfield, and a catch is made. That's Marcus Burke, who's making a huge impact here in the first quarter. How about this? 11 seconds to play in that first quarter. Mertz rolls in the naked bootleg, flips it across the middle. That's Jonathan Odom, the big tight end, rumbling down into the red zone. They are really clicking now. Utes rush five, Mertz on the move. Scrambling for it. Can he get there? Makes a cut, takes a hit, loses the football. It bounces out of bounds. So Florida will retain possession. Mertz slow to get up. Put his body on the line there, and they will. And we just check it down. And slipping is Tony Livingston, one of the tight ends. And that's another late clock at five. Utes bring pressure, ball out quickly, and the catch made by Odom. Big tight end with a short gain. It's going to set up another third down. Yeah, he's easing he, here. They fake it to ETN, and Mertz looking to launch downfield. Pearsall's wide open, and finally makes an impact play. The most dangerous receiver in this court had a yard chunk inside Utah's 40. Mertz delivers and once again finds the reliable, speedy playmaker. Another first down. I think they feel a lot better about the depth they have this year. It's being tested tonight. And again, they find Pearsall for the third time on this drive, and he weaves his way through traffic down near the marker at the 13. Won't do much good. Pop pass coming around the edge is ETN, and he's going to be stopped. So now it'll be fourth down and about three. That's Pearsall right there in motion. The pitcher back into traffic, and the Utes are all over it. Dante Zanders, the tight end, got the pass. Then they had a bunch of miscues that, that ended up costing them. Remember, they went to Pearsall in his last drive where he got matched up one on one coverage. See if they try to find him again. They do throw it to him from behind the line of scrimmage, and he shows his speed and accelerates out across the 35. He's still short of the first down. Bishop. Second and three, they come after him. Ball to Johnson in the flat, and he's got some space and a blocker, and he bursts into Utah territory before Broughton brought him down. Crowd at Rice Eccles of 53-6. Loud as Mertz backpedals in the end zone and flips it underneath. For the tight end there, and that's Odom who's made an impact, and he gallops out to the that's 25. Big fella. Backed up near their own goal. Beginning of the final quarter, Gators down by three scores, needing to make something happen really quick. And Mertz delivers a pass underneath. And again, they find a tight end this time. It's Hayden Hansen for a short game. You know, I, I would, we get asked all the time, favorite play. Very little on offense. 
Mertz delivers it again to Odom. They're really using the tight ends, and these completions are. are Consider somebody to make an electrifying play. Pearsall's in the backfield with Etienne. Now goes in motion. They get it to him on the edge, and he gets a couple blocks and works his way into Utah territory. Here you go, coach. There you go. Picks up a. Looks like it's right there, right at the line. Looks like a first down. Yep. yep. Second and ten, pump fake left, throws back right, ETN hit immediately behind the line. Broughton is all over the place all of a sudden. Makes up containing him. Mertz flips it back. And this is Trey Wilson. Hangs down for a first down inside the 35. There he is. Get it to the freshman in the opener. Mertz on third and ten, flips it over the middle. Johnson <laughs> runs into the official, knocks him backwards, and is finally stopped at the 25, so it'll be fourth and a two. Billy, what are you guys getting in the way down there? <laughs> around here, a lot of pre-snap movement. The clock down to four. Mertz from the pocket delivers a low throw. It's a catch. Just going down to grab it was Pearsall. As the ball was kept, it may have been a Mertz lofting to the end zone, jump ball, and Caleb Douglas catches the ball, kind of a delayed reaction, he kind of stood there. Ball away from the taller Vaughn, Vaughn 6-2, Douglas is at 6-4, goes up and over him, and I really don't think Vaughn ever really located the football, great job. And a 50-50 ball, all hands for the big man to bring that down. So they capitalize after the replay, very next chance. They get a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and Douglas comes down with a big catch for the Gators offense. They finally get their first touchdown of the year. Trying to cut it in a 13-point game. And across the middle, catch made, conversion made by Trey Wilson. So the Gators still alive here. Version to Wilson. Here's the football at the 37. Just inside of six minutes. Mertz flushed, flips it short. And the catch is made over there by Wilson, who scoots out near midfield. Faith in the kicker, but not what you would expect. Not, not the kind of safe, prudent play. And now Mertz has found a little rhythm here. It's a catch made by Douglas. It's a first set inside the 40. Important again to just remind people. Mertz again with a pump fake. Wanted to look downfield. Throws it short over the middle. And that's ETN picking up a couple yards. Yeah, there's confusion on the right side there. Trey Wilson's going to be huge yards here. Second and 17 instead. Backfield empty. Mertz flips it to the sidelines and catches made by ETN, who'd motioned out. Again, outside of two minutes, the clock not going to stop. Well, well Billy, Billy. Need nine on third. Comes the pressure. Mertz delivers over the middle. Pearsall makes the catch, not first down yardage. He's dragged down by Johnson a couple of yards short. It'll be now I'd snap the ball and just flip it out to he's him. He's totally uncovered. I know. They he's, don't see him over there yeah, at all. He's coming up on him, but he's still giving him a cushion. Mertz looks the other direction, throws a slant, and they do complete it for a first down. That's Caleb Douglas. So again, clock will not stop. He didn't pay for it. In the 26 now, Mertz. Tries to scramble up the middle. Pocket closed down on him, and Fotu makes the stop after a short.